Hola people, Bree Slay here, aka The Beauty Plug, all that connects you to your beautiful. And today I'm coming at you with a video that will have you smelling good during this transition. So we're in a transition season where we go from summer to fall. It's not quite cold, but it's not quite hot. It's not quite summer, but it's not quite fall yet. And you need those fragrances that you can wear during this period in time. If you want to know what my top transition scents are from summer to fall, then um, come on now, you know what to do. So I'm doing this transitional, you know, uh, video and I got on my sweater because it's sweater weather, okay? Shout out to Sabrina because she always on my sweater weather. That's my friend. Anyway. So I got my cute little sweater for sweater weather because we're in a transition period. Like the other night I went out on a cute little date or whatever and your girl had on leather vegan shorts with a see-through top with my sweater weather and my sneakers, okay? It was giving real transitional, real fall, real it's getting cold, but you still want to have a little leg out, okay? Anyway, so... I am coming at you today with a video on what some transitional fragrances are. Now, these are going to be in order of from niche to designer and not in any particular order. I'm not going to give you guys notes because this video will be entirely too long. I have a lot of fragrances here and I'm probably missing some, but I think this will be, you'll find a fragrance for you, like for sure. Okay. So the first one we're going to start off with is Tribeca by Bond Number 9. So Tribeca is like very similar to um, Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, it has more of a coffee note in it. It's very delicious. It's just delicious. It's that's just what it is. It's delicious. It's it's a compliment getter. It's probably the it's most the majority liked by all. Like this is it. And so I feel like if you want something that's sweet, you want something that's Sweet, but sophisticated, classy. Tribeca, my bond number nine. Next fragrance is another bond fragrance. Now, this fragrance I like, and this is also nice for spring, but this is also good for this weather that's transitioning into fall. This has, I believe, strawberry or one blackberry, one of the berries, and it has patchouli in it. Now, and it has musk. Now, if you do not like patchouli, you may not like this because you can smell the patchouli in this. But I like this because this is youthful but sexy. Um, this is like the young auntie. You know what I mean? Like the auntie that's fly. You know, you got the old auntie, the older auntie. And then you got the young auntie. This is the young auntie. Okay? Just my lip. I'm going to put on my lip. Anyway, this is the young auntie. Okay? I really like this. The longevity is amazing on this. You, you going to get your wears out of this. This wears well on skin and on clothes, okay? So again, this is bond number nine, Madison Avenue. Next, we're going to go into, and you know, I should have probably talked about this house first, but it's fine. Um, Parfum Zamali. So Delina Exclusive, this is a nice transition fragrance. This is a nice fragrance because it is rose, lychee, powdery like it's it's perfect for this weather this transitional weather and it probably will thrive well in um fall and winter winter months um so this is the lean exclusive i prefer this over the original i just like the fact that it is and i'm not a big fan of powdery scents but i like the fact that this is sweet sexy and a little powdery and baby you want to talk about beast this that thing thinging, this this thing lasting, okay? Next. Next we have another one, and that is Safinade by Parfums de Mali. Safinade is sweet, creamy, dreamy. It's this auntie, this the fly rich auntie. Like this auntie rich, she got, a little, she got her coins, okay? This auntie got her coins. This auntie got on a long sweater with her, like long sweater duster, okay, with her, ripped jean and a 
and a nice, the mule, you know, the, the Gucci mule, the slide with the little fur on it. That's what this auntie got on. Well, we have matching Gucci bag and a whole beside shades. Okay. That's what that smell like. Next. Of course, Oriana had to make this list because this is, has orange blossom, whipped, I believe whipped cream, marshmallow, whatever it is. And it's sexy, but it's sweet. And it's very good for this weather. Like this weather, transitional weather, I think this is very good for this weather. So again, that was Oriana by Parfums de Mali. Now, the next one is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. I have a few fragrances from this house. And this fragrance is Deluxe. Okay, listen. Deluxe is a jammy, sweet rose. And when I used to hear people describe fragrances as that, I'm like, what the hell is a jammy, sweet rose? But if you take jam and you take roses and mix it together, you got this. Like, if you like roses and vanilla, by Bath and Body Works, which is probably would layer well with this. You're gonna love this. This is perfect for this weather right here, this transitional weather. It smells amazing. I enjoy it. And that's on that. Next is Homage Guidance. Now, you gotta give her a chance, okay? Check out my review on her that I did on her. You gotta give her a chance because she, when you first spray her, it's like, what's happening here? Why are so many people talking about this? This actually matches my little sweater weather. But homage guidance, perfect for this transitional weather. Perfect. Like leaving summer, going into fall, perfection. So niche brand, um, cost you a couple coins, but it's worth it. Because don't let this light pink fool you, okay? It's beastie, all right? This has, I believe, pear or plum. I, I smell fig. And then it has a creaminess to it. Perfect for transitional weather. Next, we have a new, something that's new to my collection, and it is delicioso. It is delicious. It's, so again, everybody knows that my, fa one of my favorite fragrances, my signature fragrance, one of them, is, is the Sadless Rose. This is by Louis Vuitton. And this is like that, but it has a little bit more gourmand touch to it because it has cinnamon in it, it has some other things in it, and that is Fleur de Désir. You hear that? Fleur de Désir. Anyway. Yeah, this... This is transition at its finest. Like, I'm going out on on, on Thursday, and I think this is going to be the center of the night, because this, this right here... Oh, divine... This auntie rich, she's sexy, dressed in all black like the omen, like, ooh, divine. Next, so I'll keep it in that same kind of like realm as far as like gets a little warm and gourmandy. And um, the next, listen, this is my third bottle of this. If I buy a bottle more than once, that means that it's all the things. I've been wearing it since it first came out. I've had it for some time now. This is bottle number three, and I adore this fragrance. And when I tell you this is the fragrance for transition and the fragrance for fall and for winter, when I tell you I wore this to a club, went out, and the bouncer was on me. I ain't even get close to him yet. And I guess the projection, the siage just was like, wow. He said, yo, you smell so good. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, that is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. So this is my third bottle. Listen. This is, I wonder if Iris is in here. I forget the notes in here. I know caramel is in here or praline. This is so freaking sexy and gourmand done so well, like, you want to talk about grown, sexy gourmand? This the one. That's why it's called the only one. Because this, this it. This, 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 this it. This is it. Okay? Mm. Moving right along. Next we have, and this is new to my collection, but it's been sitting there and I haven't 
really used it yet. And that is Hugo Boss, The Scent, Private Accord. Okay, now, oh, oh, divine. Hugo Boss Private Accord has, I believe, oranges and chocolate. You know the them candies, the chocolate covered orange dry candies. Listen, this, huh, you want to talk about chocolate and orange? And it's so crazy because it smells exactly what I'm describing. And you're like, Ooh, who wants to smell like that? But when I tell you this smells so freaking good, baby, I, I can see this, these two being layered, actually. So if you like this, you're going to like this because it's in that same family. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Moving right along. So next we have something that's also very, I would say, gourmand. And people say that this this wears well in summer, but I think that this this is perfect for right now that transition. And I believe this has orange blossoms and tuberose. Don't quote me on it, but it's Tom Ford Orchid um, Soleil. Okay, and this is really really nice. Like this is a compliment getter. This is Beast. This is Beast, but not knock you out Beast. It's it's. Look at it, like just look at the bottle, it's beautiful, okay? So I think that if you like the last two that I mentioned, you will probably more than likely like this as well. Next, next we have, new to my collection, um, I just did a What's New, Wednesday, What's New Wednesdays video on it, and that's Prada Paradox Intense. Now, Prada Paradox Intense, hmm, I wore this on his eight, and I was smelling like a whole smell, like a joint. I was smelling like a whole snack, snickety snack. I was smelling like a meal, freaking snack, a whole meal with a beverage and dessert, okay? So, Prada Paradise Intense, it wore really well. In fact, it wore really well. It stays on the clothes. This is grown and sexy version of Prada Paradox Original. Next, we're gonna keep it in that same kind of like kind of like family as far as smells go. And the next is Irresistible by Givenchy. Now, Irresistible by Givenchy is a very cute, pretty girl scent. It is going to last and last and last. My body eats up fragrances. So if I tell you something's gonna last, or if I call something beast mode, baby, that means that that thing lasting. This gonna last, okay? Moving right along. Next, now this fragrance is new to my collection and I haven't actually worn it yet, but I remember when I first smelled it and this is new, when I first smelled it, I was like, yo, this is going to be a good transition fragrance. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, here go the notes. It has notes of pink pepper orange flower and patchouli that makes sense and that's why i like this so this reminds me of a more modern day version of like a miss dior or a modern day version of chanel uh, uh uh mademoiselle mixed with Givenchy irresistible so if you like Givenchy Ir irresistible you're gonna like this because this is around that same family. And again, that's Tiffany, and I believe this is Tiffany Rose Gold Intense. Tiffany and Cole Rose Gold Intense. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Next fragrance. Next fragrance is kind of unique because it has a popcorn note in it. I love it. I have the original. I've had the original. I have had two bottles of the original. I have the EDT. I have this one. This is the Intense version. And that's Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Now, this is perfect for this type of transitional weather. Like, this is like the perfect scent. You can wear this daytime, nighttime, transitional. This the one. This the one. And this is an easy reach. Um, 
it thrives well, especially on cooler, cooler um, fall days. And I think that this is, this, 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 this the one, this it. Marc Jacob Perfect Intense. Next, next comes from, you know, I couldn't let it go without bringing up my um, House of Mugler, okay? Listen, this is, is this Elixir? Yes. All right, so this is Angel Elixir. Listen. This, this is, if you can't get with the Angel Original because it has too much patchouli, it's too, like, it, like, it's just too much. This is creamier, dreamier, and I almost feel like, I almost forgot how good this freaking smells. Do you hear me? This, this is it. And this will probably smell really well in a night, like like tonight, like it's cool. It's in its low, in the mid 60s or, you know, low 60s. Like this, look, look at the bottle. Like she's sweet and seductive. Excuse me. I almost forgot how good this freaking smells. Mmm. Angel Elixir, go get her. Next, we're gonna move and go to a house that I rather enjoy so much. And listen, shout out to him because he is from the Bronx. Shout out to him. Um, my sister knew him. Um, rest in peace, sleep in peace to my sister, Simone. And this fragrance house, is Narciso Rodriguez, of course. And so I love the original OG, but I like the OG in the EDT, the black bottle, the Narcisco, Narciso Rodriguez for her. This is a perfect transitional scent. Let me tell you something about this fragrance. This is my second bottle of this fragrance. Baby, When I tell you that this thing is lasting, it's lasting, it's going, it's continuing to the next day. Like, it's like clean, clean laundry with a sexy twist and musk and rose. If you don't like musk, you may very well still like this. It is a compliment getter. It is sexy. It lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. Like this right here is sexy mommy, auntie, sister, all of them. This is very nice. And it will always be in my collection. Next is also from the House of Narciso. And listen, I bought this bottle Tried it out and I was like, mm, what the big deal is that? What is it? And regretted it so bad taking it back to the store. And then why I had to, had to wait to repurchase it. And let me tell you something. I'm so happy that I found it because, listen, this musk rose noir, um, musk noir rose, listen, this is so, and I believe this has plum in it. This is so beautiful. And shout out to one of my subscribers who gave me the layering combo of layering this with John Paul Gaultier's Scandal by Night. Let me tell you something. Them two together? Sweater weather. Like, ooh. Because this has a sexiness to it too. Not as much musk as the, the Narcisa Rodriguez EDT for her. But this has a more sweeter, cleaner, but still sexy smell adore this fragrance. This the one. And last but not least, I'm going to give you three little cheapies that I feel are great for transitional weather. I swear by them. They are very inexpensive. You can get them on fragrancenet.com. Use coupon code GNPL3 if it's still valid and you'll save 30, 37% off. 
No, I'm not an affiliate. I'm just trying to help y'all save y'all coins. Period. Right? Because, listen, I'm trying to help. Okay? Shout out to Sue, a.k.a. Dora, a.k.a. Uh, that's enough, a.k.a.s. But she put me onto this years ago. Um, she would wear it. And let me tell you something. Just Cavalli by Roberto Cavalli. When I tell you this thing is a beast, baby. This thing is a beast. Like it lasts and it's creamy. Creamy and floral and fruity at the same time. At the same damn time. All the things. Okay. You see? Got all up in my nose. And I'm not editing that part out. This, I believe, is maybe $20 or $30. Last upon last upon last. Beastie. Beast mode. Next cheapie is Escada Magnetism. Now, I say that this is the dupe for Yum Pistachio Gelato. Um, Yum Pistachio Gelato may be a smidget creamier, just a smidget, but they dry down very similar. This is an oldie but goodie. You can get this on Fragrance Net as well for under $40. Check out my um, fragrances, long lasting fragrances under $30 video. I'll add it at the end of this video. But this Escada Magnetism will always be in my collection and it'll always, always, always get the job done. And last but not least, another good cheapie that's really great that is said to be the dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 um, Exclusive. It's the For Him Edition by Zara. Listen. Zara, you did that. This? For men, for women, for all of them. For all of them. Men, women, those in between. All of them. This right here, this is it. This this the one. Mm -hmm. And this. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. Get your nose on them. Get some samples. Hell, just go out and buy them. Like, you know what I mean? But make sure you take care of your bills and priorities first. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for like, sharing. Make sure you um, like my content so YouTube knows, like, you know, like, this girl, she popping. Like, let's, 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 what? This girl, she slap, right? That's what, that's what they say in this class. Okay, anyway. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. But it's fine, though. I'll be here just patiently waiting. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. As always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.